Hey, it's Ian from Las Vegas Scoots and Lifts again. Today I've got a Drive Phantom on my lift. Okay, so the Drive Phantom just come in with the surging problem, the customer said. It's got surging issues. I've took it out for a test drive and it does have a slight little pick up and drop of speed. And that could be several things. Um, the test of the batteries, they are very low. They show 12 volts at uh, static, basically with the no draw coming from the batteries and then put them on the load or draw we get 10 volts on both batteries. They're both even, but they're pretty weak. He said he just charged it, fully charged it, but I'll take that with a grain of salt, or a pinch of salt, as we say. Um, what can it be? Diagnosis-wise, it could be a number of things. Could be throttle, could be front or rear harness, could be batteries, could be controller, and it also could be the transaxle and motor. Would it be an, an older scooter? We don't know the uh, ins and outs of the the age of the scooter as in what use it's had. There's no way of checking how many hours of use. And it could be a worn motor that could be causing it. But most of the time, usually, it's um, the throttle, the front of rear harness, and or as well as the um, controller breaking down the... Uh, Capacitors can actually uh, start to blow out and that will give you that surge of power. It's uh, usually capacitors. The throttles aren't available. Uh, they're not available, so I can't get one of them. But I do have one I can use to test it. It is very loose. It's, uh, I can't see inside of there, but it does waggle up and down. I have wobbled this wire as I was driving it along and it didn't seem to do it then. It was weird, every time I got onto a straight after turning it picked up speed and that, that would indicate a front or rear harness but it could be just coincidence. But I'm going to change out the throttle with a known working one, take it for a test drive with its original batteries in it, see if it still does it. If it still does it I'll change the batteries and if it's not that then it's more than likely the controller and or the uh, the transaxle one motor, so let's uh, get this top console off and change that. Okay, with the top console off now, I can see what's going on. The uh, just that throttle, throttle pot there is just w wobbling around, it's just loose. I don't think that's uh, that's going to cause any issue. It's just the, the little knot underneath it. Let's see if you can see it. Uh, under there, just at the top there of this plate, there's a knot that secures the throttle pot to that plate, and that's just loose. But what that can do over time is damage the, the contacts in the throttle pot people try and push too hard or it goes up and down and it, that could cause you an issue but absolute pain in the you know what i've got to take this off and it's probably going to mean taking the front bracket off i've done two of these before for for parts um, i can't get into those screws to take this off to change this throttle out but not just a matter of unplug and try a new throttle, there's no way of trying the throttle without putting it in place, so I've got to strip everything off, so here we go. Okay, so I've changed out the throttle pot, Jenny's taking it for a ride to see what happens. You want know, to take it outside? Yeah. Open the door. On my
Huh? Well, let me. Oh. Another outtake. Oh, so Jenny's taken out for a ride. Luckily, it's just this throttle thr thr pot. So, and luckily, I have one. But they all do that. They all do this silly wobble. Uh, yeah, that's a known working one. So, replace that for him. For a test drive, Jenny took it for a test drive and it seems to be okay. She didn't feel any surgeon. So, lucky for him, it wasn't a controller or anything else. Still don't rate those batteries as much, though. So I'll uh, get all the top console pulled back together and uh, hopefully get this one out of the door. So the drive for Phantom's done. It was just a throttle pot. Jenny been out and uh, tested it. It's no fluttering or stuttering. So that's uh, pretty good. She's making a mess in the corner there. We've just got our scooters in finally. But yeah, that's all done. We'll call the customer. He'll come and pick that up. I'll tell him about his batteries being pretty, pretty low. So, uh, yeah, that's that done. Yep, so if you uh, enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It helps us out immensely. So, yeah, I'm going to... I've got a few more that's come in today that I've got to fix. I've got the uh, little Solex there who's just bent his uh, locking mechanism. I've got that one to go and test drive. That one's brand new. I'm thinking it's this... Uh, battery gauge there that's faulty that's the second one we've had and uh, about i'll test it i'll take it out for a run and see what happens and i've got another one in here the sport three wheel sport he's got a broken pin on his motor which i'll probably record that i'll have to change that out but yeah if you've enjoyed this video like share subscribe give us a thumbs up leave us a comment Got any questions? Again, leave them in the comments or email us at uh, sales at Las Vegas Scooters and Lifts. Be quiet back there. Yep, anyway, till next time. Bye now.